Hello everybody, it's the Horror Fan Man. I thought I'd do a quick video here. Um, it's a response to Leo from Geek Legion of Doom. Ten favourite steelbooks. And um, also saw Rose's Skulls do it as well, so I thought I'd give it a go. But I'm not going to do any Arrow video. Because um, everyone's seen them, they've been done to death. So these are the ten that I just picked out. Right, first up. Is this one? It's the original Kick Ass that was out. Well, well, oh, a long time ago. I just love the simplicity of this. I don't want like spray painted Kick Ass on it. Really, really nice looking steelbook. Yep, it's got the um, back stuff printed onto it, but it's really, really a nice steelbook when you look there. Just love it. Just like the simplicity of it. So yeah, <clears throat> that's my first one. Kick ass. Up next is um these two come out about the same time. This is the original version of the fly. Uh, I do prefer the other film, but um I just love this one as well. I just love the design of it. Really, really cool with the um the flies eyes looking at you. Really, really simple but effective steelbook. And Back out works really good as well. It's like the original poster. It's really nice. That's that one. And then <clears throat> I just love this one as well. Evil Dead. I just love the red on it and um, Ash standing there. Another one that's really simple but <clears throat> really effective as well. It's really cool and that back artwork is is just amazing. Just the black and the red. A little bit of white there on the axe head. Love it. Then we've got another classic one here. I just love this one as well. The artwork is just phenomenal. The good old Quater Mass in the Pit. Good old Hammer. Just love the old style artwork and oh, it just stands out. As soon as I've seen it, I thought I've got to get this. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. So much effort has been put into it. And it's a great film as well. That's a brilliant Quater Mass in the Pit. Really good film. Next one is the amazing Mad Max Fury Road, the Black and Chrome Edition. Got this when it first came out, and I think it sold out really quick. And then um, typical Zavi wants to make something a limited edition, and it sells out quick. They like to re release it. There's the amazing back there. Fantastic artwork there. <clears throat> You know, they re-release it, so they can sell it again. It's all in, embossed as well. It's really, really cool. Love that. And one that I actually done in a trade a good few years ago. Simple as hell. And Salma Hayek looking really fucking hot. Some dust till dawn. There's another really nice addition there. This one sold out pretty quick as well. I missed out on it. But like I say, got it in the trade. They're still doing. Mm -hmm. Say no more. Another quite exclusive one. I think this was um, entertainment store or something that used to be around. <clears throat> this is the absolutely brilliant World War Z. Look at that artwork. Absolutely stunning on it. Fantastic steelbook there. Just to me, looks amazing. There it is on the back as well. Zombies climbing up to get the helicopter. I mean, this is a film that gets a lot of stick, but I actually really enjoyed it, and I wish they would get on and do a second one. Put a bit more blood in it. Be brilliant. So, yeah, I really do like this one. Been in my collection a long time now. Really happy to get it. Amazing. Right, down to my top three now. Third one's this. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it looks just like the Wicker Boy on the cover. <laughs> it's um, Purge, election year. Stunning cover artwork on there, and same on the back as well. Two of their masks are trying to break into the shop in it. Um, yeah, the film's not as good as the second one. I think the second one's the best one. Uh, this is up there, you know, unlike the last one. Absolute shit. The first, the first purge, but yeah, I just love it. Just love the mask on it, just looks amazing. Really, really good one. Second one, I think a lot of people have got this. It's a great film and a brilliant steelbook. It's Logan. 
love the old um, comic style artwork on there simple head in there just looks amazing it's all shining as well back's a bit dull but it does follow on from this the other front artwork and yeah as soon as i've seen this i thought i've got to get my hands on this looks absolutely amazing amazing steelbook right <clears throat> now on to my first one number one this is a french steelbook for nurse 3d and need i say any more this is a stunning steelbook look at that the artwork is just amazing on it and same on the back as well so quite a strange film but what a brilliant simple idea for a steelbook <clears throat> um i've seen this on someone's channel so i've got to pick it up and you even get the artwork on the inside as well see it there And as you can see, the discs as well. There you go. There and there as well. Looks more like a porno, doesn't it? And then there's the inside one there as well. Just a absolutely amazing steelbook. So much effort been put into it, and I'd say it's a French one. And as soon as I see it on someone else's channel, I thought, wow, I've got to get that. Still got it now. Really, really glossy as well. Yeah. I think you can all see why. Stunning steelbook. Yep, so um, that's it. That's my lot. That's my um, 10 favourite steelbooks. Obviously, no arrow video in there. Yeah, check out Leo and Rose's Skulls videos as well in this really good idea thanks a lot keep it horror <laughs>